Hello, folks. Very exciting episode for you this month because we've got a couple of cars here well under 300 quid that look like great value for money and also a return for one of the more popular EVs on the road today. Really good deals throughout this one. They're all EVs. They're all on three months up front, three-year deals, 10,000 miles a year. Let's go and check them out. Please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, not enough people do it. It makes a big difference. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Let's go. Okay, so we're starting things off with the Aura 03. This is the artist formerly known as the Funky Cat. I would imagine, by the way, if you were to order this, you'll get a Funky Cat, something la labelled as a Funky Cat. Um, they've literally just changed the brand in. Uh, Aura are now going to have like 030507 for their cars rather than giving them names. This one's in stock and they only changed the naming convention like a week ago, which is why I'm guessing that's what you'd be getting. This one is in pure plus trim, which you've got 193 miles of range. Uh, 0 to 60 is not too bad, 8.3 seconds, so nothing too shabby there. 171 brake horsepower, 228 litres of boot space. Very well specced cars and very well screwed together. I think everyone that saw the one I had here for a week for a review was blown away by the actual build quality of the thing. So the initial payment on this is £766.62 and then you've got your 35 monthly payments of £255.54. For under 260 quid a month, that's a very good car. Um, purchase price on one of those is around 30, 32 grand, if memory serves me correctly. So it's not a cheap car to buy, is a cheap car to lease. And you can see the difference it makes there if you have a larger or smaller upfront payment or you want two years or four years. Uh, likewise with the mileage, if you dropped it down to 5,000 miles a year, 36 quid a month less. If you went up to 12,000 a year, 21 pounds a month more. Please use that link to Lease Loco. Go and have a play for yourself and find a deal that suits you. The only reason I do three months up front, three years, 10,000 miles a year, is it's because it's the most popular lease profile in the UK. Uh, so it's a nice average for everyone. Right, Fiat 500 electric 87 La Prima by Bocelli. Uh, 42 kilowatt hour, three door automatic, 269 quid a month. 807 is your upfront payment on it. 186 miles of range, 185 litres of boot space. 118 brake horsepower, 0 to 62 in nine seconds. Have to say though, 0 to 60 feels like you're in a Ferrari when you're in one of these. Um, well, you sort of are, Fiat, Ferrari, same company. The feeling of speed is immense, I think, because you're so low to the ground and that electric acceleration, particularly like the 0 to 30, I don't know, it feels astounding in this car and you're not actually going that fast. If we look at the price history on this one, you will see that it used to be a hell of a lot more money than it is now. This time last year, £552 a month. In July, 693, I mean, it's astounding, 693 quid a month. According to the Fiat configurator, if you wanted to buy one of these, 34 grand, right? So it's not a cheap car. Two weeks ago, it was 642 pounds a month. Two weeks ago, currently 269 with 807 up front. It's a brilliant, fun little car. Far better and far more fun to live with than you would ever think a little Fiat might be. Um, but honestly, one of my favourite electric cars, no lie. Next, we've got the Toyota BZ4X. This one's obviously been around for a little while now. Um, you can also get the Subaru Solterra for about £10 a month more than this. Uh, different trim levels available and everything else. This one's the Pure, which is like the base spec. If you want the Vision, which is the absolute top spec, um, you're looking at 489 a month. But we'll stick with the Pure for a minute because it is the cheapest one. 150 kilowatt Pure, 71 kilowatt hour, 318 miles of range, uh, 204 brake horsepower, insurance group 35 and seven and a half seconds to 62. Oof. This time last year, 810 quid. Just before Christmas, it went down to 495. And we're now looking at 413 with an upfront payment of 1240. Now, these things have been trashed quite a bit in car reviews, but everyone's been reviewing it as a £45,000 plus car. And when you're looking at a lease deal of 800 quid and you could get Tesla or Polestar for 
500 quid a month, 600 quid a month. This did look like a bad car. When you can get one for 400 quid a month, it's a different proposition. If you're only doing 8,000 miles a year, it saves you about 28 quid a month. If you go up to 15, it puts about 43 quid on top. On to the next, the Tesla Model Y is back, finally. It's been a while since we've seen the Tesla Model Y in one of these videos. We had that period last year when uh, Elon dropped the price of the Tesla Model 3, and we saw some amazing deals around that time. In fact, I think it was around January last year. But this is your Bogo standard Tesla Model Y rear-wheel drive, same one I've got sitting outside. 283 miles of range, 347 brake horsepower, insurance group 46, that's come down. It was insurance group 50. 6.6 .6 seconds to 62. And look at this. This time last year, 573 pounds a month. In May, 590. Um, then in the summer, 622 quid a month. And then we saw it's been really high lately, like the last couple of weeks, nearly 700 pounds a month. And this is the cheapest we've seen it in a good six months at 521 pounds a month 1565 up front there you go the average price on that over the last 12 months has been 573 a month currently 521 a month and it's a pretty brilliant car in fairness now from a car i like a lot to one i don't really like very much the mustang mach e 198 kilowatt standard range they are very popular though see a lot of them around 525 quid a month this is the standard range one 248 miles of range 6.3 seconds to 62 269 horsepower 1575 up front 525 a month but let's have a look and see what this has been doing in the past. Back in March, this was £1,159 a month. Uh, then in May, 888. Uh, in October, 815. Even just at the start of Jan, it was 642 a month. We're now at 525 with 1575 up front. Please use that link to Lease Loco if you want to inquire about any of these cars. Next, we've got the ID5, the Max Pro Performance, 524 quid a month, and the upfront on that one's 1572. Um, I'll just flash up these so you can see the other profiles. Nothing particularly mad standing out on this one. 322 miles of range, 0 to 62 in 8.4 seconds, 204 brake horsepower. Decent sized boot on this, 549 litres, only insurance group 33. So it's not going to sting you too badly on the insurance, uh, depending on where you live, of course. Um, this time last year, 898 a month. In October, 904 a month. The average has been 789, currently 524. And it's in stock. That's a fantastic deal. If you want a big family car and you like a VW badge, that's a great price right now. Next, we've got the absolute top spec version of the Nissan Aria. This is the Evolve 87 kilowatt hour E4 Auto. 579 quid a month, and the upfront on it is 1738. 314 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds, over 300 horsepower, 408 litres of boot space. Very nice car. Very nice interior on these and just a nice thing to drive. I'm saying nice a lot here, but I've run out of superlatives. I've been to the gym and I've had my lunch. I'm tired, folks. I'm closer to 50 than I am 40 now. It's scary. On to the price history. Uh, this time last year, 794. Then it went up to 864 last February. Uh, in October, 765. Uh, start of Jan, 661. Currently, 579. Now, obviously, there are different trim levels available. If you go down to the Engage, uh, which is more like sort of base level trim, the numbers change up a little bit. So 466 litres of boot space, 251 miles of range, 217 horsepower, um, and 0 to 60 on that one, 7.5. Uh, it makes quite a difference to the price. So this time last year on the Engage with 656, average on it's been 519, currently 422. So a couple of really good options there on the Aria. Um, as I said, it is a very good car. I found it surprisingly good, in fairness. Before I show you this Audi Q4 e-tron, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, lots of people watching these videos are not subscribed. In fact, about 80% of people watching them are not subscribed, and it would really help if you give it one of those and a little click on that button. 596 a month for the Q4 e-tron, 150 kilowatt, 82 kilowatt hour S-line automatic with leather, 520 litres of boot space, 311 miles of range, 204 horsepower. It's in stock. 
Uh, let's have a look at the price history on this one. Back in March, it was 894 a month. Um, as you can see, it's then sort of stepped down every few months. So in July, 748. In September, 680. Uh, just at the start of Jan, 619. Currently, 596 with an upfront payment of 1790 Right, next we look at the UK's most erratically priced commercial vehicle, so the VW ID Buzz Cargo. Uh, I don't usually put vans in these videos, but if a van deal comes along that it looks good, I'm going to include it in here. Um, 433 quid a month, but of course it's excluding VAT. I think at the moment, aside from maybe the transit, if you're after an electric van, this one probably makes the most sense. It's a nice thing to drive, reasonably practical, and it's got 254 miles of range, or at least that's what's claimed. Um, I assume when they do the range figures on a van, it's with an empty van rather than a full one. So, you know, your mileage may vary, pardon the pun. But when you start life with a van that's got like 150 miles of range, as many of them have, it becomes a tricky proposition for quite a few people so price history on this one this time last year it was actually a tenner less than it is at the moment then it went up to 450 a month and then september it went up to 536 then it dropped to 432 then it went up to 537 then it dropped to 432 then it went to 493 and it's currently 433 it is a factory order i don't know how long one of those would take at the moment that's something to chat with the broker about but just wanted to throw that one in. And if you remember those deals on the passenger version of the ID Buzz just before Christmas and me bleating on about how good that deal was, just look at the price of it now. And lots of people watching this channel got one of these on this profile for under 450 a month just before Christmas. So that really just highlights how good that deal was before Christmas and I just thought I'd point it out. As always, this video is sponsored by Car2 Cover, the go-to place for gap insurance, scratch and dent cover, tire and alloy wheel insurance, all the kind of things you might want to get to protect yourself and your lease vehicle, or even if you buy yourself a new or used car using any other different means, uh, uh, Car2 Cover have a gap product to suit. Um, 01438 544 593 is the number to call and quote Jim 10 and unlock a tenner off any price you see on the website. Uh, we've done sample quotes in the past and typically a gap insurance policy might cost you between 160 and 200 quid for three years depending on sort of the cost of the car and what it is and everything else but check them out car2cover.co.uk give them a ring and let them know i told you and as i said you'll get a tenner off by way of thanks and on that note it's time to leave you i'm recording this video by the way on the 25th of jan it will be released on the 25th of jan if you're watching this in a week and the deals have gone the deals have gone if you're watching this tomorrow and the deals have gone the deals have gone they are all live at this very moment on lease loco how long that will last i don't know please use that link to lease loco thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one